Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective reading. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get in. All right, you guys, let's get into this Wednesday. Let's see what the message is. Whoops, what's going on here? I got a big old what's going on <laughs> a big old mix up all right yeah whatever mix up i don't care mix up mix up what's coming up here for you virgos what's going on okay intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later okay <clears throat> that's a message what else do you have going on here for you oh show virgo health health issues could arise great Great honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like you're getting some red flags about your health. That's really, that's it. That's, pick up. That's really it. Yeah, you might be getting some, okay, some your intuition. Pay attention to that, okay? So if you're getting some headaches, you know, stuff going on, if your knee's bothering you, that kind of stuff, pay attention to that, right? I don't feel like, you know, I don't know if that means there's something serious going on or not. Just, you know, don't ignore your body. Your body's always speaking to you. Yes. So pay attention to that energy. And, um, hmm. What's happening here? Honeymoon. Honeymoon phase. Attending somebody's wedding. Are you going to an, are you going to a wedding? Or you have a honeymoon phase you're enjoying right now with someone special? Possibly. Okay. Okay, well, so this looks like a lover's trip. i gotta tell you that right now. Lover's trip coming in, hot and heavy. Let's take a look. Let's see what else is showing up here. Okay, oh, you got palm tree. Hmm, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Someone's connected to a palm tree, going somewhere where there's palm trees. Tropical lover's destination. Is there palm trees in Phoenix, Arizona? I don't know, I've never been there. I'm assuming, are there, maybe, I don't know. Um, new phase, rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth, changed mind. Okay, maybe someone's from Phoenix or is going to Phoenix um, or around that area. Okay, there might be like a, a, a vacation coming up. <laughs> um, there's a new phase, rekindling, changing of the mind, something going on here, uh, a lover's trip definitely and it could just be no it's a honeymoon <laughs> or it's attending a wedding somewhere in that area okay whether that's close to you or far away don't know yeah don't know we don't know we're gonna find out because you're gonna come back into the comments and you're gonna be like yep that was me yep 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 that was me okay you have a love call okay so you might be getting a call from someone somebody like no i can't i have a headache um you might be getting a call receiving a call getting an invite someone might express their love message of love thinking of you letting you know um you're getting invited to maybe a wedding or i mean i hope and you could be getting invited to somebody's honeymoon hey to each their own you do your thing um or you're you're getting invited on a trip or someone's inviting themselves to go see you come see you wherever you are okay so yeah that's happening i just want to get a couple more i'm going to keep this short and sweet today you guys um i was going to do something different but um just got to keep them a little short and sweet i wanted to get something out for you guys but i have a family member that's just to try to keep it private, but let you know that I have a family member that's going through um, a medical thing and I, um, I'm i gonna be a little busy. So I just wanna put something out there for you so that you're not, not gonna five of pentacles your, your, your butt, <laughs> leave you out in the cold. So I just wanna get something sweet, short and sweet out here for you. What else is coming up here for Virgo? Yeah, we're gonna go that way. Okay, open up your heart listen to your heart when he's calling for you um it will help to it will help you attract more love okay so you're being asked to open up your heart going forward 
that's good. Um, yeah, so what does that mean exactly? I mean, I feel when I see that, like they're giving me a bunch of smiley faces. So I feel opening your heart means to me, well, it doesn't mean to me. It, the message I'm getting is warm smiles. Smile more, Virgo, to people. That's how your heart's more open. The more, smile is like the gateway to the heart, right? That's what I'm picking up here. So you attract more love when you smile when you have you know when people and lord knows everybody hates it when someone tells someone to smile more it's like shut the f up don't tell me what to do with my mouth <laughs> unless okay stop <laughs> but anyway yeah I, I feel that i'm feeling that right now not the second part the first part yeah so i feel that smile smile more that will open up you will attract more love that way if you smile more. That's your message. Oh, there's a confession. Someone has something to tell you. We're going to look into that. What is the juice? What is the tea? What's the confession? Someone's got something to tell you, Virgo. What's the confession? Give Virgo the tea. Oh, no, 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 no. They said, put that deck down. Don't you dare. They said, put that deck down. Don't touch my deck. Oh yeah, we're going into the confession. We're going into the hidden confession. What do they want to tell? Oh shit. Virgo. Someone wants to confess that they love you. Someone wants to confess this to you. I love you. Why won't they can why is this a confession? Who is this person, first of all? Who is it? It's a Leo. There's a Leo who wants to confess that they love you. Okay. And is it forbidden? Like, what's the deal? I don't know what the deal is, but I guess it, since it's a confession, maybe there's something else going on with you and this person. Or maybe for some of you, you... Maybe it's awkward or you work together or it's just taboo. I don't know. But yes, there is a Leo who wants to tell you, wants to open up their heart and tell you that they love you or they're in love with you. <laughs> okay. What other message does Virgo need? Oh my goodness. What else? What else? Oh, really? Pop in and pop out? Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want, Virgo. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you want an air sign? I know some in the chat are like, no, but I don't know about the rest of you. If you want an air sign, if you have a thing for an air sign, you need to tell the universe that you want that air sign. Um... that you want to be with that particular person. That doesn't mean you're gonna be, but you need to express that outwardly. Like, <laughs> I feel like the, the universe responds to what you want, not what you don't want. If you tell the universe what you don't want, they, they give you exactly that, nothing. <laughs> but they don't necessarily manipulate people. They don't bring people to you. It's not like you make a list and then the next, it's not Amazon. It's not, <laughs> universe is not, it's not Amazon, y'all, stop. <laughs> my, I made my list and I like put everything in my cart and it's just, everything's on delay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, I, I mean like you can't, you just cannot manifest a particular person. <laughs> Like y'all got giant magnets. You're walking around outside with a big magnet taped to your chest. Like, come on, where you at? <laughs> where, where are they at? Let me draw them into me. No, but you do have to like 
speak it into existence. You know what I mean? Like you gotta like talk the positive. If you are you want you want to bring the positive energy of someone into your life, like the positive energy. You know, I don't know. It's it's got some kind of magic thing to it. You know, but it's not gonna. It's not voodoo, so it's, it's not. It doesn't have that power over people. You know, could you imagine if like someone that was like your worst enemy, someone that you just despise, like it was just like a evil was doing that to you? Like think about that for a sec. Like put yourself in in the other shoe, foot in the other shoe there shoe on the other foot whatever think about it like that I mean I know some of you do think that but I don't believe that works um, but I, that's just me I don't believe anybody has but God has power for me like who's got power over you you know so yeah so what's up with this air sign you know what's going on who is this who's this air sign now some of you might be like No, 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 no. Well, who's this air sign? Give me a, give me an initial, because let's let's try to get specific with this air sign. I want an initial. All right, starts with an H. Okay, it's either okay. It's either your name starts with an H or has an H in it somewhere, or it's them. But we got the letter H here. Okay, air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. All right, you guys. So I'm going to get a couple more messages here. What else? What else does Virgo need to know? Um, so quick announcement. The other, my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, I'm going to be doing some shorts there for a little while instead of the nightly uploads. So if you guys have been going over there, um, I'm going to do shorts for a while. So, um, yeah, if you go over there for the 9.30 p.m. Eastern reading, it's just going to be shorts. Um, I'm going to see how the shorts do over there. So, just so you know. Okay, you've got yes. The answer is yes. Luck is on your side. So, if you've had some kind of question, you've been seeking an answer about something going forward or something that's been heavily on your mind... You might have been making book and readings or seeking answers, listening to tarot card readings. That thing that's been on your mind, the answer is yes. Are you going to be together? Are you going to talk to each other again? Are things going to go well? Are you going to get that job? The answer is yes, you are, okay? Because, look, that's a ladybug. It's positive. If you've been seeing ladybugs, that's good luck, okay? So the answer is yes to what you've been seeking, to what you've been seeking an answer to. Very positive energy. Let me see. And I'm sorry if, if, if it's a if it's a negative question, the answer is still positive. Okay, I saw this too and it went back in, but it flipped out again. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, but something's also beginning. Okay, let's take a look and see what is ending and what is beginning. What's in the past? What's coming forward? What is ending? And what is beginning? Oh. Hmm. Well, someone is no longer searching for you or stalking or being curious. They're, they're, they've got their... They've got their focus elsewhere. They're, they're, they've turned. They're looking in a different direction. They're looking elsewhere. Okay, they're distracted. No, eyes are not on you anymore. Okay? So I don't know if that's a good thing. I, I would think so. If you've been the target of something, or if all eyes have been on you for something, no more. You are no longer... The talk of the town or the target of gossip which it, it you know it's a negative target okay negative target not positive target it's negative so it looks like that cycle has completed it's over you are not going to be water the water cooler discussion anymore 
yeah everybody's distracted they're looking elsewhere they're looking for another turkey to carve so to speak and let's see what's coming towards you now something what what is beginning that's what's ending so now what is beginning may not be coming towards you but what is beginning now in place of that wow judgment oh, oh, oh. justice is served in my mind wow hmm that kind of ties in you know because i feel like whatever was going on whatever you were the target of this is in your favor okay and people gossiping about you or you know spying or looking at you or doing some like this this is fake this is the this is karma for me you know this is like an awakening lesson big lesson learned as well and even for you a lesson definitely learned cycle completed for sure you're coming out of something whatever it was it's done okay it's done whatever you were the target of all eyes on you it's over it's finished judgment day has come you will be redeemed that's the message that's the biggest message you will be redeemed through all of that those people like you're gonna be okay for whatever that was about I feel like they might have been in the, they were in the wrong they're not being redeemed whatever was said whatever was done whether it was like a judgment whether it was in a court any kind of legal situation anything that was going on in like a work situation gossip in the family whatever it might have been they're focusing on everything and anyone else and redemption comes to you that's coming to, that that is coming towards you that's what's coming it's on its way okay it's on its way and they're gonna get some truth you know they're gonna find out some truth somebody must be standing maybe somebody's out on the side talking and standing up for you or saying something you're gonna get you'll be redeemed that's what i feel is going on yeah yeah look at that the seven of swords the true thief is going to be revealed the true liar the true deceiver and they're looking at the true liar the true deceiver what what I think we should I think we should just start a whole new network of like a soap opera here as the world as the house turns <laughs> seriously that's what I feel like this message should be all right I'm gonna give you one final message to go and then I'm gonna go and tomorrow's gonna be your weekend reading I'm gonna do that now so you guys will have it let's see what is the final message here sorry it's so short let's see final message for I'm gonna leave the chat running for a little while longer so you guys can just uh, continue your little your chat if you like because I know you guys like to have your chat and then um, it'll close out okay you have fate so there is a partnership that is destined okay just so you know I feel like that's the, the final message there uh, some type of partner partnership oh my god some part some partnership that you are in is destined to be to, you're destined to be together you're destined to you are destined to come together you if you haven't met yet and you will you you will just be destined to meet i feel like you need to remember that or you need to know that going forward yeah i love the overall message kind of short and sweet but it's just a reminder perhaps for some of you something coming up something for you to know all right i'm gonna let this roll out for another 10 minutes so you guys can just keep chatting and then yeah i will see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend reading and then i'll see you back here on sunday all right take care love you
Thank you.